Hey, what's up guys? My name is James Nicholson with Keller Williams Realty Center and the Smart Move Group. Um, you know, I was, I was in the Army for 10 years as a medic and uh, at the same time I was doing real estate and I worked with a lot of VA clients and I keep hearing the same exact issues and the same uh, misunderstandings of the VA loan. So I wanted to address three of them today. One of the issues with the VA is that the VA actually does inspections. The VA does not do inspections. If a realtor is telling you the VA does inspection, you don't got to worry about hiring an inspector. That's not true. There are three types of inspections that the VA requires. The first one is a pest inspection. Almost all VA requires you pay for the pest inspection. Uh, it used to be that the seller would have to pay for it. But now they're making it to where now you can pay for it. And the reason for that is because, you know, you could be hiring a $200 pest inspector. And now the seller has no say in that. The second one is uh, well inspection. You know, water quality is a well working. If it has a well. And then a septic inspection. Same thing. If it has a septic. So if it doesn't, you don't need it. Where does this VA inspection issue come from? The issue arises from... The VA appraiser does a minimum property standard, like visual appraisal. He doesn't actually do an inspection. So he may walk up to the house and see the roof is blown off. Well, you don't need an inspection to know the roof doesn't work because there's no roof. Or like he sees three steps and that steps need a railing. So that, that's just an example. But they're looking for safety, sanitary, and structural issues. They're not doing an inspection like you would have a structural mechanical inspection was very detailed. They're not going around checking every outlet. They're not crawling through the crawl space to find out things. They're really looking for certain things. And every VA appraiser, they may skip some things. Although they're not supposed to, they may skip some. I've seen holes in siding where the VA appraiser says, you need to fix that. But I've also seen holes in siding where the VA appraiser never said anything about it. So the reality is... You know, they don't really do an in-depth inspection. The second one is that anyone that ever served in the military can use the VA loan. That's not true. If you're in the National Guard, you're a nasty girl, you got to spend at least six years of drill weekends and two weeks in the summer just to be eligible for that VA loan. Or what you can also do is, let's say, if you went on a deployment that's longer than six months, then you can use the VA loan. Now, you also have to be active for at least six months. So well, that deployment would mean you're active. So some people may say, well, what if I got an education and it took me six months in schooling? That doesn't count. That doesn't count. So always talk to a lender and try and get that information. The third one I hear a lot is you can't use the VA loan more than once. That's not true. You usually have like a certain amount of eligibility. So let's say your eligibility is 600000 and you buy a $300,000 house. You now have $300,000 worth of eligibility left. But you also have to have a good reason why you're moving some of the times. But talk to your lender about those uh, specific requirements. So I just wanted to address those three issues and let people know, you know, one, the VA does not do an inspection. Two, you, do, you can use the VA more than one time or you can reset your eligibility. And then three, um, if you're National Guard or your uh, reserves, you know, you do have a different require, requirement than an active duty member. So I hope this is helpful for uh, not just military members understanding what loans they can use, but also um, any realtor that had questions about the VA. So my name is James Nicholson. I'm with the Smart Move Group of Keller Williams Realty Center. Um, I hope this is helpful. Bye.